Okay, let's plug in our cables now. So, eGlass comes with three different cables. Two are for the power, the power adapter brick and the power cable. And the other cable is the USB cable to plug into your computer. So first, go ahead and plug your power adapter cable into the power adapter and plug this into a wall. And I kind of forgot to mention here, once your power adapter is plugged into the wall, go ahead and plug the other end into the power port on the left side of the e-glass frame towards the bottom. Now your e-glass should have power. Now it's time to connect e-glass to your computer using the included USB cable. Plug one end into the USB port on the right side of the e-glass frame towards the bottom and plug the other end of the cable into a available USB port on your computer. Let's talk about where to put the computer. Because the e-glass needs the computer to function, it needs to be within reach of the included USB cable um, from the USB port on your e-glass. So you could put it off to the side here, but anytime you need to use the e-glass software, or if you're in a Zoom class by chance and you need to look at your students that are on the screen, you're gonna have to look to the side. Instead of looking towards the camera, you're gonna have to look towards your computer screen. So it's best practice to put that computer as close to the e-glass camera as possible. When you do that, as you look towards the camera, it's going to look like you're looking uh, towards the screen and vice versa. When you're looking at your computer screen, if you're operating the software, it almost looks like you're looking at the camera. Uh, you can get even closer by using a stand. Here is a stand that you can try. And I'm going to set this stand right here just above the camera. And I'm going to set my computer on this stand. And there you go. Now the, com the camera is just peeking right out above the computer. And now when you look at your computer, it's going to look like you're looking at the e-glass e camera. Now two things. One tip is to use a keyboard and mouse to operate your laptop because now your laptop is on the other side of the glass. So you're going to need some way to operate your computer. So get a wireless Bluetooth uh, mouse and keyboard to operate your computer. The other thing when you're placing a screen of any kind on the opposite side of the e-glass frame, it could possibly reflect off the glass and into the camera and you're going to see that laptop screen show up in your e-glass presentations. One way to counter that is with uh, the included polarizer filter that is in this little brown box. And we're gonna get to this in the section where we cover eliminating reflections. So stay tuned for that if you're positioning your laptop on the opposite side of the glass. And lastly, if you're using eGlass to teach in front of a live audience, you're gonna to wanna to plug it into a display so that audience can see the eGlass image properly flipped on the screen, on your projector or any other display you have. Easiest way to do that is simply connect your computer to that display. I'm gonna use this, this uh, HDMI cable and I'm gonna plug my HDMI cable into my computer so that it will output to the display that I'm using. 